Hi there, you got the captain, Captain Fuzzy here, and I am going to show you how to port nearly any Source Engine asset into SFM, Source Filmmaker. Now, first of all, a couple of ground rules. One, you must have the whatever game that you are going to extract the assets from installed and working on your computer. If you don't own the game and you want the assets for it, buy the game. I am not going to upload assets directly from games when they're readily available. All you got to do is come up off that wallet and buy the game. That being said, I will show you, if you already own the game, how to get the assets from it. This does not apply to games that are not Source Engine based. So, if it's something like, uh, uh, well, Mortal Kombat, or Rise of the Tomb Raider, or Alien Isolation, if it's one of those, this does not work for those. This is only for Source Engine games. So, if you try this on one of those other games, or any game that is not Source Engine based, then, sorry, it's not going to work. Well, it may work, but I highly doubt it. Anyway... This is only for Source Engine games. So, That being said, let's get started. I'm going to use Day of Defeat Source as an example here. Uh, first things first, what we need to do is take a look at the directory structure of the game. Now, I already have it installed, so let's go to my C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps common and day of defeat source now if we open this up you'll see a bin dod half-life most of your source engine based games have a file structure similar to this so no matter what it is whether it's day of defeat as in this example or it's black mesa i mean if you open up black mesa it kind of looks the same see there's the main folder um Counter-Strike Global Offensive, CSGO. See there, they're all basically set up the same. So, this wor will work on any Source Engine game. Okay. Now, we need. this is where all the folders are, or all the files are, that we're going to need to extract for into Source Filmmaker to make this work. A lot of the old tutorials say say make a brand new folder on your desktop someplace uh, and name it the same as this folder here of course that applies to the game so if I was going to do global offensive then I'd name it CSGO um, you know but in this case we're doing day of defeat so I'm going to name the folder DOD now, just for the sake of time here, I've went ahead and jumped ahead and went into my Source Filmmaker game and made a DoD folder already. This is where we're going to extract these assets from. We're going to extract them from the game and we're going to put them down here in this DoD folder. How are we going to do that, you might ask? Well, I'm going to show you. It's a little program, which I have it linked in the description of this tutorial. It's called GCFscape. We're going to need that. I have already downloaded it. It's in my folder here. We're going to fire this bad boy up. When you open it up, it will look like this. Now, we already know where the other folder is because we already looked at it so this is the folder that we're looking for so when we navigate to our folder we're going to click open we're going to go to the same address common day of defeat DOD and here's all the files that we were just looking at over here now the only file that we really have to worry about from this right here is this DOD pack directory 
.vpk. This is the main thing. It opens all these other ones for us. So all we need to worry about is this one. So you can click on that one and click open. Now, when it opens the VPK, here's all of the files that are in the VPK. It contains maps, materials, classes, configs, models, particles, resources, scripts, sound, all of this neat stuff. We only need a couple of main folders. We need materials, hold control, select models, particles, and sound. Those are the only four folders that we need to concern ourselves with. Yes, there is a maps folder that you can extract. However, the maps probably will not work in SFM without some tweaking and stuff and that's not something that I'm covering in this tutorial. This is just simply to get the assets. If you want the maps, I'll do another tutorial lo later that shows how to get the maps and stuff and bring them in or at least attempt to do it anyway because some of them will work and some of them won't. So for now we're just going to be concerned with the materials, models, particles, and sound. Once you've highlighted all of those, right click on any one of them and click extract. Now it will ask you where you want to extract to. This is where you go down all the way down to your source filmmaker folder. I need to find it. There's source filmmaker game and once you do this you go all the way down to your DOD folder which is right there. Now, I have already done this, so I'm not going to redo it because it takes approximately six to eight minutes for it to fully extract all of this stuff. So, like I said, for the sake of brevity here, I am going to go ahead and jump over to after they've all been extracted. But normally you just hit OK and it will start the extraction process and put these folders in there. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and I'm just going to jump down here to my DOD folder and this is what it will look like when you're finished. Each one of these is full of all kinds of stuff that it's extracted. Materials, models, all of that stuff. It, it will all get extracted out in the end. Your sound effects, weapons, commentary, everything like that. So this is everything that ends up in your Source Filmmaker folder. Now, in order for us to use any of this in Source Filmmaker, we are going to have to enable the DOD folder that we created. So in order to do that, we need to fire up... We, well, first we need to go into our Steam library like so go into software not games because this is normally where you're gonna pop in but we need to go to software because source filmmaker contrary to popular belief is not a game it's animation software so it's under software now let's right click and launch SDK now you're gonna get this little window is gonna pop up here we want to edit search paths for selected mods now, when you open it up, you will find your DOD folder. Now, I've enabled mine already because, like I said, I've done this already. So, you would normally find it like this, unchecked, and more than likely at the bottom of the list is where it'll end up. So, what you want to do is, is once you find it, put a check mark next to it, and then, depending on when, when you want to load its assets or whatever as far as when uh, Source Filmmaker first loads up you move it, grab it, drag it, move it up and down the list until you get it where you want it and that will set its priority. The higher on the list it is the higher its priority. I generally try not to put anything above TF movies and TF because those get used a lot so 
I leave those alone, leave them up there. And then normally I do the workshop after that. And But this is just, you can order this up any way you want to, but this is just the way I've got mine set up. But anyway, it's up to you. Once you get it where you want it, you got the check mark next to it, you hit OK, and you're done. It will now show up in Source Filmmaker when you run run it, and I'm going to show you. We're going to go ahead and launch Source Filmmaker. And give this puppy a minute to boot up. Because if you're the least bit familiar with running Source Filmmaker, I don't care how good of a computer you've got, the damn thing takes a few minutes to load up. It always takes a few minutes to load up. Okay, I have a special DMX that I've set up for testing models that I download. So we're just going to open that. All it is, is it's just like the stage BSP map. And I've created a special DMX a session that I use for loading models and testing them out. So there we go. There's the stage. Let's get in the motion editor because we'll probably want to move some stuff around. Uh, and let's spawn a new model. That's okay. I've already, like I said, done this before, but I've already set my mod filter for DOD so I can find my day of defeat stuff. And what the hell? Yeah, let's spawn in a tank. Sherman tank. Oh, looky here. We got a Sherman tank right there. Open it. Now let's just go ahead and default him and there you go there's a nice nice Sherman tank there let me just slide him back out of the way in just a little bit right there okay well there's one asset from day of defeat uh, let's see about a character we need to see if one of the characters works so uh, let's uh, Let's try character. Nope, no characters. Okay, let's try player. Okay, here we go. Well, let's see here. There is an American sniper. Let's go ahead and spawn him in. And we'll just default him. And we'll slide him over here just a little bit. And just for grins and giggles... Let's, uh, I think I saw a German sniper in there. Yeah, let's make a German sniper. And let's pop him in there, too. And we'll default him down. And we'll scoot him over there. And there you go. Day of Defeat Assets. In Source Filmmaker. Get my work camera so I can move around a little bit. Oh, looky here. They're all ready. Um, I have played around with these a little bit. And I will show you real quick because this is not hard. They do accept the rig biped simple rig. And as you can see there, rig body, rig legs, rig arms. And this is what he looks like without being rigged. So just to show you that it actually works and show you that I'm not jerking your chain here. There we go. Now he's rigged. So. But they're Source Engine games, so they're compatible with this. So there you go. That is how you import Source Engine assets into SFM. I hope you learned something from this. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them at the bottom or post them on the Source Filmmaker discussion boards. I'm sure myself or... Someone there will be able to help you out with it. If you have any model problems, they don't look right or something like that, ask questions there. But please, be specific. If you have screenshots, that's even better. Show what the problem is. Tell exactly what you did. And um, we'll see what we can do to help you out. Once again, you've got the Captain, Captain Fuzzy. Enjoy your new models in Source Filmmaker, and I'll see you around.